Hi, my name is Mike Ward. I'm the Global Director of Content at Informa Farmer Intelligence's uh, Insights Portfolio. Uh, we're here at the Biotech Showcase, uh, which is a meeting that takes place at the beginning of each year in San Francisco, uh, where many biotech companies, pharmaceutical companies, investors all get together to discuss you know, opportunities where they can do deals or do financial transactions, as well as uh, actually just you know, trying to sort of understand what the hotspots are uh, for the industry. I'm joined by Michael Oridsson, who's the uh, CEO of BioInvent International, which is a um, Swedish biotech company, been around for you know, 30 odd years. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a, an old company by now, but we have uh, reshaped the company yeah. in the, just in the past three years a bit, but we're an antibody company uh, sure. in uh, oncology. Yeah. Which of course is a really, really hot area. Now, what, you know, what's interesting is most, most of the people who are here are looking to either raise you know, finance mm -hmm. or, or do deals. Uh, and yet you guys, just before uh, the Christmas, sort of yeah. Christmas break, yeah. you did a, a big deal. Do, do you want to sort of share with us the sort of the, 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 sort of the highlights of, of, the, of that deal? Yeah, so we started focusing on uh, immunotherapy and oncology just over three years ago. And we had some really exciting you know, early stage clinical assets and some preclinical programs at that point. Uh, but we haven't really done any deals before in this space. So for us, it was important to uh, validate, if you like, our effort. Yeah. So just before Christmas, we, uh, we announced that we were uh, engaging with Pfizer Corporation yeah. uh, in uh, tumor-associated myeloid cells, which is a fairly unexplored area within immune oncology. Yeah because there's, you know, it's a big competition uh, in this space and, and you really have to demonstrate that you can do something well and you can do something which is different. Yeah. So I think that was the reason that Pfizer decided to do the deal with us because they, they really could see that we had a differentiated approach in an area which is still relatively unexplored, the innate immune system, so macrophages and so forth. So, so the size of that deal, the the upfront and the and the, and then potential milestones. How so there were uh, ten million dollars going in to the company uh, straight up, if you like. Now six million dollars out of that was uh, an equity investment. So Pfizer has become shareholder. Right. So they bought that at a, at a premium, which yeah. was good. Uh, so they have about seven percent in in buy and vent. And then, uh, you know, we hope we can take forward, uh, say, five programs through to um, uh, you know, the clinical development stages. So the milestones for five programs would be worth in excess of half a billion dollars. Right. And then we have up to double digit royalties and fully funded um, research through the research phase. So you know, given the fact that there's not really any data, any antibody selected or targets at this point, I think that was you know, satisfying. So you actually haven't identified the sort of the details of, of, of no, those programs. No, but we have a very credible uh, approach, if you like, a machine that I think we convinced Pfizer we can do it with. So, so that so that's the question. So, so w what what was the data package? That, that, that so to be quite honest, I think they were impressed with some of the things we have been doing with the same approach. So we have an antibody in the clinic uh, in in he hematology lymphoma an antibody to a novel uh, target. It's a first-in-class antibody to a target called uh, FC-gamma receptor R2B or CD32B, which has been developed using the same methodology that we're going to use with Pfizer. Uh, we also have a sister program to the TAM program, which we have partnered with, with Pfizer. Uh, so that's regulatory T cells. And that program is actually uh, one, one and a half year into uh, it, its phase, its first phase. Uh, so under confidentiality, we were able to demonstrate what we had achieved in the first year. And I think they were impressed by that. So that, that was really, if you like, the, the, the main selling points from our point of view. So, so and uh, within sort of the terms of the deal, is that work still going to be taking place at BioInvent or is it going to be exported into, in, into Pfizer? It's a collaboration. So we are working specifically with a very you know, talented group here in San Francisco uh, in Pfizer that works with immunotherapy and oncology and has expertise in this field. Uh, we are going to do the hard yards at the beginning of the program. So I think the first one, two years, yeah. we're going to do much of the work, but it's going to be a collaboration for sure. And then I think when it gets more advanced, more mature, 
uh, Pfizer will sort of do more of the work. So it's going to be staged in that sense. And you so when you don't have the sort of the, the, the terms of the deal or you know, in terms of exactly what the kind of work that you're going to be doing, uh, nailed down uh, specifically, um, how do you put a sort of a ring fence around sort of your ex, ex, the exclusivity of the deal? Well, it's, it's specific to the biology. Uh, so myeloid cells, tumor associated myeloid cells. So that's really the ring fencing, if you like. But I think it's a good thing that we have a lot of leeway within that, within that framework. There's so much you can do. Uh, but you know, we, have, we are quite specific in terms of limiting to that, to that very biology. Okay. okay. Now, you know, clearly, you know, one of the things is you know, people want to be able to do deals with, with the likes of Pfizer. Um, yeah, how, how did the, uh, the first interaction, wh when did that start to take place? And, and then, you know, sort of, you know, well, I mean, uh, 2015, I think, was the first meeting we had with Pfizer. So the deal was about one year in the making. At that stage, we decided to do a limited outreach to, you know, a relatively limited number of companies that we thought were really good potential partners for us. And, you know, Pfizer was one of those companies. Uh, and they got interested immediately in the first meeting. And then, you know, it's taken about a year to shape the whole thing and to negotiate the deal and so forth. But, yeah, it's about a year. Right. And what does this deal now do for BioInvent in terms of your own strategy to, to build your company out rather than being, say, doing work for, for Pfizer? So I told you we have a sister program. So we are doing a, a, a similar type of exercise with regulatory T-cells. And that's something we are keeping to ourselves at this point. Um, and I think there's real benefits between these two uh, you know, sides to immuno-oncology, early stage development in BioInvent. One is kept by us, the other one is part of with Pfizer. We have uh, a few clinical assets. I told you about BI-1206, which was, I think, you know, interesting to Pfizer because it was really developed successfully using the same methodology that yeah. we're going to you know, use in the, uh, in the TAM program. So we still have uh, the majority of our assets owned by BioInvent. So it's, you know, it was a validating deal. Uh, and a very, we have a very balanced portfolio, I think, in terms of licensed, still keeping assets to ourselves. Right. So you mentioned that you, you joined BioInvent three years ago. Yeah, I just over three years. Yeah. Um, and the sort of, and the company has transitioned. So mm -hmm. is is the company looking the way that you know, you hoped it would look at, at this stage, th three years down the line? Well, you know, you always have high ambitions. So I think we've. We managed to, um, you know, execute some of the things I hope we would have been able to, uh, you know, three years ago. Um, you know, there's a lot more to do for sure. Right. So the next three years is going to be even more important than the first three years. The company was really had a need to be turned around three yeah. years ago, so it was hard yards for the first year, couple of years. Now I think we have much more financial freedom. Uh, we have much more, um, you know, slightly more mature assets and so forth. Yeah. So, you know, I'm very optimistic, but I would have liked to do more, of course. You always want to do more, but it, it, I think it's an okay situation. So, in the next three years, that's because you're going to start, to, you know, getting these, uh, these programs in the clinic at, at Pfizer, is it? We already have, well, that's going to take a few years be before it's in the clinic. Uh, but, you know, yeah, I, I hope we can be sp as speedy as possible right. doing that. But we're certainly hoping to get even more uh, assets into the clinic. We have a couple at the moment, uh, but that's one of several objectives over the next years to, to, to grow the value of the company, to be able to do that. So, so you're at the meeting. So because you've done this big deal, I mean, most people are here to either you know, do a big deal or, or raise some finance. And you, yeah. you've, done, you've done both those things. What's the? What am I doing here? What, 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 what is? What, what, what you, what's your objective of, of being here this week? So I've done a mix of investor meetings because you always need to talk to your existing investors, right. potentially new investors. I've done mostly that actually yeah. Monday, Tuesday. Today is is more BD, so I'm talking to companies today. Right. We have uh, Pfizer tomorrow, so we're going to have a meeting with Pfizer yeah. tomorrow, and that's it. Right. Okay. And so the, the so this. This is a really good location for you guys. Oh, uh, coming coming here this week is a good thing for anyone in yeah. the business, and you know it's 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 a necessary thing to do, and I love it. So it's a good way to kick off the new year. Yeah, I agree. All right, okay. cheers, Michael. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.